Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, get a water, a tea, snack, whatever you need. And keep in mind that this may not resonate with everyone who clicks on this reading, so please only take the parts that do fit and leave the rest for someone else. Also, I no longer offer personal readings, so if anyone is reaching out to you pretending to be me, asking for money, or asking for a reading, please report and block them. I will not ever reach out to you for money or for a reading, okay? So the title of this reading is You're So Good It's Scary, which is something we've talked about before. There's a few readings on the page that are titled You're So Good or something like that. I'll try to link them in the cards if you're watching this on a phone, or I'll put them in the description box for you as well if you'd like to go back and listen to those readings. But there's something going on right now, Virgo, where you're so good, it's scary. Your intuition is so good, it's scary. Your connection to God, your connection to faith, your connection is so scary. Because of people, because people are afraid of what you might find out, or people are afraid of what you know. There's this like fear energy I'm tapping into. You're so good, it's scary. Maybe you read the cards and you're so accurate, it's like terrifying. Or maybe people are just afraid that you're going to find something out about them. I don't know, we'll see where the reading takes us, but that was the first message I was getting, you're so good, it's scary. I have a lot of channel messages for you, but I'm just going to deliver them the way that they come out instead of like forcing it into some kind of structure. I was also getting something about be calm or your spirit team wants you to be calm right now. So do whatever it takes to find your calm and to stay there for as long as possible. For some of you, it's going to be meditating. Some of you are going to be meditating more in the morning or that's what the spirit's guiding you to do first thing in the morning, do some kind of meditation, connect with spirit, do some kind of prayer, stretching, yoga, etc. whatever it is that you do to connect to your higher self and to connect to a higher power. It's going to be really important for you right now, I'm seeing. But they want you to be calm. Your spirit team wants you to be calm. I'm seeing something about 2014. That could be a significant year for some of you. Or there's something about 2014 that's coming back up. And I was also getting something about back to work. You're back to work this week. I'm back to work. This is my first day back to work. Some of you, maybe yesterday was supposed to be your first day back to work, but you didn't feel like going. You, set the you hit the snooze alarm or something like that. Okay. Or maybe something about your first day back to work. I was getting that some of you could have gone back to work like last week, like on January 2nd or something like that. That could have been your first day back to school or back to work or something like that. But it didn't really feel like you were going back to work. It just felt like foggy and it didn't feel like you were at work, but you were at work. I'm getting you couldn't really get a lot of work done last week or you didn't feel like you could get a lot of work done last week. Don't be too hard on yourself. This is the week you get back to work or this is the week you go back to school. Okay, but I was also getting get back to work. So some of you, this is your spirit team saying it's time to get back to work. I was channeling something about it's time to go. It's time to get moving or it's time to move on. Okay, so remember to take what resonates. Let's move into the cards and see what they have to say. For Virgo, you're so good at scary. What do you want to tell the collective of Virgos who is watching this reading? I was hearing something about a business idea. You have a good business idea or you're going to. I'm getting something about like a signature scent or a signature look. You're creating that right now. You're developing that right now. Maybe you sell candles. Maybe you sell fragrances. I don't know. You're, you're coming up with a signature scent. Okay, for some of you. But for some of you, I'm getting like a signature look. Maybe you're doing makeup. Maybe you're doing photography. I don't know. But I'm getting something about like a signature as well. So maybe you're signing a book. Okay. There's something about you that's a signature. You're a signature. Or you are the signature. Or they need your signature. Someone needs you to sign off on something, Virgo. But I'm getting it doesn't have to be like a written response. It doesn't have to be like an actual signature. They just need your response. You're so good, it's scary. They're waiting on your response. There's something about you're back to work, and so now everyone else can go back to work because you are the sign of work. When you're not working, they're not working, or things are not working if you are not working, right? I'm getting for someone's, like, work to work, you have to be working. You are someone's life work, Virgo, is what I'm getting. For some of you, this is, like, you're your parents' life work, so 
congratulations to your parent because they had you, they gave birth to you. But for some of you, you're someone's life work. They can't work unless you're working or they can't do something unless you're doing it. You come first, you have to do it first or something like that. I'm getting that you're a teacher or that you are the teacher. I've been getting a lot of messages surrounding spiritual school and you're like climbing up the ladder. You passed a test or you are passing a test. There was an affirmation spirit was giving me about I pass every test I take. They want you to say that to yourself, to affirm that to yourself or to write in the comments if you feel called to that. I pass every test I take and that's the truth. Okay though, you're so good it's scary. Where is this reading going, please, Spirit? What is the message here for my Virgos? We're seeing Guide. I was seeing Maya or Mayan. Someone's name could be Maya or Amaya. Okay. Or something about like Mayan civilization or the Mayans is significant here. Okay, we're seeing the number 15. So that could be the date of your birthday or that could be a significant date for you. Or a number you're seeing, 1515 or 515. I've been seeing a lot of 555. Today I opened up a package and it had 5 by 5 by 5 and then it also had the number 555 written on it. I saw 555 and 1111 most prominently in the past couple of days, so you may be seeing them as well. You're being led somewhere. I'm feeling like you're being led out of something. But you're the guide. You're the principal or something like that. You're so good it's scary. You're the bar. I'm getting something about like a benchmark. Everyone compares themselves to you or everyone's comparing their journey to you. Or maybe this is you comparing your journey to other people, but you're the guide. There isn't really anywhere else to look, Virgo. Only within is what I'm getting. You have to guide yourself out of this or you have to guide yourself somewhere so that you can guide others somewhere as well. I'm hearing you were meant to do this first. That's why you're so good. God will always tell you the answer, is what I'm getting. You have a guide. This is probably your guide coming through. You believe in God. You believe in a higher power. You have a specific guide who's coming through and channeling through me. Maybe I regularly do this for you, or maybe I'm doing this for you now for the first time. But I'm just getting something about a guide coming through for you. There is guidance. There is somewhere to go, is what I'm getting. Let's see where this is going. I want to see where you're being led. But I'm getting that God will give you the answers, or your higher self will give you the answers, or your spirit team will give you the answers. You have the answers, or you've had the answers all along, is what I'm getting. Someone's afraid of what you might know. If you're meant to know it, you will know it. You, The thing is, you don't have to go searching for this information. They're afraid of what you might find out, but it's natural. Whatever information is coming to you is information that God wants you to know, or your spirit team wants you to know. You're not going and seeking this information. You're going and searching out what so-and-so did in their past, what so-and-so is hiding, blah, 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 blah. You're not doing that. You're an actual guide. You're busy. That's what I'm getting. You're busy. There's like other priorities for you, your mental health, your well-being. Some of you just need to rest is what I'm getting. Your guidance is to rest. Yeah. But we're back to work. So it's like accomplishing many things. Maybe you write a whole list of the things you need to get done. And there's like 17, 15 tasks on there. But you can't actually get them all done in one day. Maybe you only get two or three things done. Good job. At least you accomplished something that you set out to do today, right? You don't have to accomplish all 15 tasks each and every day. It's unrealistic, even for you. But I'm getting that some of you are like recalibrating, regenerating. That was something I was channeling as well. Another affirmation, I am healthy, healing, and regenerating. And you are each and every day. The world doesn't stop moving. But I'm getting something about like only accomplishing a few tasks throughout the day. It's better than none. You're going to get back to where you were or something like that. I'm getting something about being restored. But you have to rest first or you have to regenerate first. You can still go to work, I'm hearing. Yeah, nine of swords. Some of you are worried about money or you're worried about work or you're worried about something working. You'll still find time is what I'm getting, or something will still work out for you. But I also feel like this Nine of Swords is not yours. Somebody's projecting it onto you because you're this lion, you're this tiger. And they're merely a sheep. And so someone's scared of what you know or what you might find out. Someone's afraid of the path that you're taking or somebody's afraid of the 
choice that you're making, but it benefits all of us or something like that. It benefits most of us. The majority is what I'm getting. And that's more important to you or that's more important. I'm getting something about self-sacrifice. We're seeing the high priestess. I'm hearing you know too much or you know a lot. And that's the thing. People are afraid of what you know or what you might find out. But the thing is, you don't even have to go looking for it. It will just fall into your lap like we talked about. Earlier today, I had to clean up a mess that I made. I was like trying to clean up the table. And I spilled some coffee. And I was like, is it a big deal? No, but is it inconvenient? Yeah. And did I have to clean up that mess? Yes. So if you need to clean up a mess, Virgo, it will come to you. Don't go searching out other people's messes. That's a mess. That's a message for someone. Somebody wants you to clean up their mess. I'm hearing, look what a mess you've made or look what a mess I've made. Wow. I also feel like some of you are guiding people out of their messes or guiding people out of like a messy situation. You are the guide. But just because of you doing whatever you're doing, it's making like a cosmic impact. You healing yourself heals the collective. But yeah. There may be something about you cleaning up someone's mess or cleaning up a mess right now. We're seeing the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Five of Swords. Someone's been waiting for you to make an appearance or waiting for you to sign off on something. Somebody's waiting to hear what you have to say about a situation or waiting to hear what you have to say. Someone's been holding on to something for like weeks or months waiting to see what Virgo is going to say and you've just been like out here busy like a bee. Like I said, Knight of Pentacles. If you haven't been busy, expect to get busy really soon. There's a lot of, like, busy work, busy energy for you. So don't worry. The work is coming. The work will be back. The work is happening. Back to work, right? The Fool, though, and the Five of Swords, this person's, like, they're not getting the answer they want from you. Page of Cups. Yeah. I'm getting that somebody wants you to apologize for something that you haven't done, or somebody wants you to feel their pain somebody's trying to make you feel the way that they felt i don't know there could be gossips or rumors going on here who cares what they say about you you don't have to go out of your way to prove who you are a lion or a tiger does not have to tell you that it's a lion or a tiger an earth angel does not have to tell you that it is an earth angel a guide does not have to tell you that it is a guide you will be led you will be guided like there's something here about somebody was trying to disprove you or something like that and it bit them in the ass there's some kind of like karma here that they're facing for what they said about you or for how they talked about you or something like that but somebody wants you to like apologize or wants you to like be less than they want you to like shrink because they feel small i don't know why this is where your reading is going but this is what this guide wants to tell you about you could be asian or african i'm getting something about asian or african descent Somebody here is very entitled. Or somebody here is feeling very entitled. And they didn't get what they were promised. Or they didn't get what they thought they were going to get. Maybe they've always gotten what, like, mommy or daddy gave them or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to speculate. But that's what I'm hearing. Somebody's out here in the real world now. Or somebody's out here, like, seeing that the real world isn't just, like, rainbows and butterflies. Like... Sometimes you gotta work for things, sometimes you gotta sacrifice things, sometimes you have to deal with hurt, sometimes you have to deal with it, like, you know? The lover's card here, this could be an ex-lover, or this could be like somebody you had a situationship with, or a Gemini specifically. The lover's card is interesting to me though, it's clarifying the fool. I feel like there's this new love happening for you like this new love blossoming or blooming whether you're in a current connection or not for the singles i do feel like there is a new love here that's been taking its sweet time but it's going to be sweet like honey and it's being led to you your guide is bringing this in and i'm getting that this person is also like a spiritual guide or like a galaxy keeper a keeper of the gates is what i'm hearing a gatekeeper security there's something about that with this person they've heard you they've heard your calls or they can smell you they've gotten like a, a scent of you wow 
they picked up on your scent. You have a signature scent or a signature look or something like that. I'm getting something about like dots all over the body. Maybe you have a lot of freckles or vitiligo or someone does, but I'm getting like their receptors go off around you or something like that. They like know what you're thinking while when you're thinking it or they know what you're trying to say with just a look here or something like that. They can read your energy very well and I feel like you can too. This person's like a mirror to you. I was thinking about that do we, today. Do we want a mirror of ourselves? Is that the ideal when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships? Let me know what you think. But do we want a mirror of ourselves? Because if you do, that's what's happening. That's what's manifesting. Someone who is a mirror to you. This means that this person mirrors back your fears and insecurities as well. But they also mirror back the good parts to you. So if you truly love yourself, like truly, madly, deeply love yourself, then so does this person. And I feel like this is a really good situation coming in for you. But I'm getting like this guide, whoever this guide is that I'm tapping into, they're very tough because they want what's best for you. And they don't want you to settle for anything less than what you deserve. What are you worried about? Having to start over, having to try again, having to own up to something or someone having to like own up to something or you having to open up your heart. That's what I was trying to say the first time. <laughs> Afraid of opening up your heart again to get hurt. That's a risk. Spirit wants you to take a risk. Yeah, the devil in the reverse. What's the five of swords? The devil in the reverse. You're not going to get hurt. You have to trust at some point is what I'm getting. Know when to lead and know when to follow is what I'm getting. You're such a leader. Or you have this innate ability to be a leader. And you take your time. And you learn. And you heal. And you grow. And you take what you get. But there's something here about just trust the universe. They've got you. The devil here is in the reverse on the five of swords. Nothing they say about you will manifest. Nothing they say can hurt you. You're the guide. You're the leader. You're the teacher. You were chosen for this position. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter. God doesn't care what they have to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just getting something about like intrusive thoughts or someone's intruding, trying to be intrusive, but they can't reach you. Maybe your mind goes blank every time they try to get into your mind. Because the universe is like, oh shit. What If they had to see what you have to see, they would be terrified. You're so good, it's scary, right? So you get to see the scary things. You get to see it all, is what I'm getting, Virgo. Don't be afraid of your gifts. You're very talented. The way that I'm just like reading these cards is insane. Yeah, we're seeing the Ten of Pentacles. You have a gift. That's why the Five of Swords is really here. They want your intelligence. They want your intuition. They want your connection to source. They want everything that you have worked for, but you're getting off that ride. You're about to, yeah. You're about to get everything you've wanted when it comes to career, love, spiritual growth. And I feel like it's happening for a community of people. We're seeing the Knight of Pentacles being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, so. It's a lot of confirmation in this reading. This reading is confirmation for some of you. Back to work is what I'm hearing, but take it slow. The work is going to pick up for you. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting your guides. Don't want you to worry about money. I was seeing something about like um, a track being like opened up for you or being extended for you. There's more time to do something or there's more time coming, but you got to get back to work. And your guidance is to rest, which is like take breaks in between. Make sure that you're getting plenty of sleep throughout the day, right? Rest when you need to. Rest when you feel called to. If you feel like taking a nap right now, take a nap. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting, okay? So Virgo, that is what I have for you for this reading. I hope that it helped and resonated. I'm sending you so much love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.